Hello, I'm the Communist Penguin, and welcome to Space Engineers. Today we have another Let's Build. Um, very similar to the last Let's Build. It's another Inquisitorial Starship style thing. We're going with the same theme as the last one, as you can see on screen at the moment. Uh, this time we're going to try and make some sort of escort style ship. It's going to have a big battery of rockets on the front, but otherwise, you know, not much else in terms of you know, it's not going to be a carrier or anything like the one we've got at the moment. So, um, yeah, uh, let's get into the, I'll put on the music, we'll do the speed up build and then I'll show you around afterwards. Okay, let's go. So, so here we are, we're going to start the build. Um, we're going to start at the front of the ship, I think. So, my idea for this is we're going to have a, as you can see I'm building at the moment, we can have a sort of, Along the front of the ship, we're going to have a sort of a cover. So, out of heavy armor, a couple of blocks thick, and then underneath that, we're going to have all like the weapon systems, and then sort of almost like suspended in a cage-style thing underneath um, is going to be a lot of the other components of the ship. You'll see when I when I do it, but I sort of want to have like a rib cage-style thing at the bottom of the ship. So yeah, it, it, I'm just doing some. You can see the missiles in the front there. And put some buses in. So this sort of, as you see that uh, bit coming down there, is going to be what the sort of skeleton is. So yeah, now we're going to extend the carapace. Let's call it the carapace. Makes sense. And you see, I just added a couple of ribs in there, and now I'm changing it to a black. Sort of the colour scheme. It's less like multicolor like the last one. We're still using the same colour palette, but it's more the top armour bits are red. And then the sort of skeleton looking bits are black, and then we sort of have the cream underneath. Well, I do mix it around a bit, a bit later when I come back to the paint, but that's basically the colour scheme. So I cut out a bit then. Um, in the last ship I did, I built the whole outside, and then I did the interior. And that's what I've done for most ships I've built so far. But for this one I sort of mix and match, so I did a bit of outside and a bit of interior. So it enabled me to make the ship actually a lot smaller than, you know, like it would have been. I'm just messing around with putting indents into the hull because that's one of the things I hate when you have a very sort of flat smooth ship, it doesn't look very good. That's what I, I always try and get like indents and stuff. You see, that's why most of my ships tend to have like armour stick outside, like stripes. So here I'm building the bridge. I'm building another sleek bridge here. Um, I guess if it was real, it would sort of make sense because any sort of bullets hitting at it, because it's all like, you know, slope, might deflect off. Like in a tank, you have sloped armor. But um, I guess in game it probably wouldn't be very effective. You just hit it and with a missile and blow up. Especially I'm using those ramps on top of the glass. They're not particularly, you know, they're not the best armor. But anyway, I, I as you can see, I just added a sort of like very big dent through the middle of the carapace. And now I'm starting to build. You can see, you can really see the skeleton style thing I'm going for at the back here. Uh, this this back resembles the other ship quite a bit. So this is where a lot of the core functions of the ship are going to be. Also, as you can see, I'm adding some engines in here. Making some small nacelles. I normally build nacelles on ships because it's handy because it gives you an engine bay and reverse thrusters. But um, I wanted to make them really small on the ship, so that's what I tried to do. In fact, I'm making them smaller a bit later on. So here, I'm just trying to extend out this back of the hull. I think I'll make it a bit... I, I try and make this ship a bit more thin than most of my ships have done. So here I'm sort of, I need, I want to build a bottom of the ship, so I build this sort of glass viewing bay thing. I also built a, a small parts turret, which is going to be on top, and I'm going to build a hangar bay into there as well. Or, yeah, I'll do that off camera. I do all the inter internal stuff off camera because it's much more awkward to view, and it like doubles the length of the video. So you can see I am, um, there, you see the turrets in place there, Now I'm just adding some bottom sections to the, you know, to that, to that floor there. So uh, now I'm, I think I'm continuing the rear of the ship. It's hard to see in the preview window, window because it's all like buggy. So yeah, um, in this build I tried to make it so that all the, because last time I sort of added the turrets and weapons like an afterthought. I didn't think about it when I was building the ship. But this time I managed to make sure all the turrets, you know, were in as I was building it. And all connected up with pipes and stuff. There, I'm extending the engines there. I found a weird bug when I was doing this. When you have, when you place a turret down, um, obviously it has 
this weird sort of three by two area, or three by three by two area where you can't place anything in. But also that counts for thruster damage as well, so I had to remove a few thrusters because they couldn't thrust through what was actually empty space. Which was awkward, but oh well. So yeah, as you can see there's quite a bit a lot of space down here where I can add stuff later on. But yeah, this is gonna be the big engine bay at the back. I try and fit as many engines as possible, but it still actually only uses about half of that big reactor you can just about see inside. So um, yeah, uh, this ship is also, um, like the last one, this is actually also for a competition. Uh, this time by the much more famous YouTuber, Last Band Gamers. Um, I'm pro I think we'll be able to enter in the carrier as well, which should be nice. So you know, we'll have like a proper three, and then maybe you'll get in and some crazy stuff happen. That'd be cool. So yeah, um, just trying to add in a couple of thrusters here. Just you know, basically, basically adding a couple of new features that I've forgotten. So we've got a cargo container. Always good to have lots of storage. I have a magazine, which you'll see later on, like into the hole, quite you know, quite deep in the hole, so that if anything hits, it doesn't explode. Because as you probably know, if you have explosives in the container in this game, it just goes big. So there we go, I've completed the ship. Um, I'll, I've done the interior of camera, so I'll give you the tour. Ah, back in a sec. Okay, so... Oh, let's... We're back. Um, I am in the... This is the little cargo shuttle I've built. This fits in the hangar, which is in the bottom of this, of the ship I built. As you can see, if I turn on the HUD. It is, I've named it the ISS Astron. Uh, free cookie if you can find out what the theme is behind these two ships because it's not as simple as you might think. So uh, yeah, as you can see we've got a massive engine thing jig going on here. It's not that like big but I guess it, it takes up the whole back of the ship so that's, probably, that's pretty bad. That's pretty good. And anyway, so if we... Um, I'll fly down to the hangar at the bottom. Well, I guess no. I'll I'll, I'll 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 just spin around a few times so you can see. So there, you can see I've got the rib effect going on. I uh, quite like that actually, to be honest. Um, yeah, I I wish I carried it on a bit more over here, but I think it works pretty well. Anyway, let's go into, let's go into the hangar bay. So if you see, I don't have any lights on this, but here we have this is the door. So I'll just fly in. This is actually really awkward to get in here because it's a very small hangar. And normally it's best to just switch off your dampeners and then thrust up a little bit and let the ship just go in. Because you've got to get in here without melting everything. Specifically that light, because if you melt the light everything goes dark and it's just awkward. Right, there we go. Make sure the dampeners are off, switch off the engines. Actually no, you want to... Oh, there we go, see metal the wall. <laughs> go over a bit and lock it. Just repair this real quick. Oh, this is damaged quite a lot actually. I'm gonna, if I if I did this properly, I have to put a crate in my feet to just get the components to repair. Anyway, I might just put some just a bad pilot. So if we go over here, I'm not broken up. I think this is from repeated use, not just from this time. Right, if we go into here and we type hang, yeah, hang a door. You can see this door comes in. It's quite nice actually. Pretty simple, it's just a one-way door, but you know, if it's more simple, it's less like to break. I'm also using this uh, special rotor thing where you get a large rotor and put a small ship rotor thing in the jig in there. So you can have a small ship lock rotor style thing. Also, yeah, this is the sort of observation deck. There's a backup cockpit here, so technically you could fly it from here if the main bridge and the backup bridge got destroyed. But mind you, if that happens, I think you'd be screwed anyway. But anyway, uh, if we go down here, I will, this is the little air that was well, not an airlock, it's just one door. But this takes you outside the ship. This is the other way to get in. And I was going to show you this little turret here, which is actually really shit because if I get in it and fire the gun, it goes crazy. Like if I hold it still and then go fire. You can sort of hold it to steady. Hard. Anyway, yeah, this is just a little quick thing I built. It's got a nice red light. Looks pretty cool anyway. So yeah, if I uh, get out of here, I'll I'll give you the proper tour instead of just playing with the toys. Um, how do I get in here? To this side. Uh, yeah. I really went like 
how to say, um, I really went full out on all the trying to cramp as much stuff into a small ship as possible on this thing. So if I come in here, this is this is the main, this is the airlock for getting out of here. Normally I guess it would be sealed with the door, hang a door to get but if it's not then you've got this. So, um, where should we start? I guess I'll start the bridge I reckon and then go down from there. This is like, this is the elevator shaft, there's also a stairwell at the back of the ship. So this is the bridge, actually would have made sense to end here, but oh well. So we've got like a main captain's seat, it's a nice view. Some little pipe, an interior type of defence. Go through here. This is the back, main battery bank, this is like reserve power in case all the, in case the main reactor dies. There's a main reactor and there's also a battery reactor over there somewhere. But if both of them go down, then you know, we've got batteries. So this is this is the master bedroom for the captain. That's simple. It's got a gyroscope there. Most of the gyroscopes are in those nacelles, and there's a couple more to scatter around just for backup. There's another battery. This is the backup reactor here. Med bay. Simple. Most of these rooms are simple. Emergency backup room. Not very pretty, but it's an emergency, so it doesn't have to be. We go down here, this is the main stair I was talking about. Now this, I spent a long time trying to get all of these rooms like in here. We've got a dormitory here. All these rooms are for one person, so they've got some nice luxury. Luxuriousness, I guess. You can see I'm using these sort of these steel catwalks. I use a lot of these to try and cram all these rooms in. I should do a cutaway, but I don't think I'll be able to do the floors. Um yeah, these Dorms carry on below, I think, and there's a. Oh, I'll actually go down there really quick. So there's another one there. It's sort of a peak. I think there's some stuff down there. I'll go in there in a minute. And then this is the recreational room here. It's just a sneak table from the other ship. I guess you need to kill on there. And there's another bedroom. But if we go into here, we have this is the storage room. These are three by three containers you saw from outside. I've been using a lot of these catwalks around here to sort of conceal it. These are very big, if you, as you can imagine, they sort of expand up and down through all the bedrooms and stuff. And I'm using these catwalks to cover them up. Gravity generator, upside down. <laughs> I don't know why I keep doing this. I think I did it because I don't want to put it on top of a catwalk in case that got... Because catwalks are easily destroyed and then we lose gravity and that suck. See, so that's on the roof. Nice long corridor here. This is because the reactor's above here. And then this is this is the this is the sort of kitchen area. So we've got a couple of, well, a couple of tables and chairs. And here this is the kitchen mock-up thing with this crazy doom oven made out of small parts that looks really weird. And going here, this is just it's a mis missile tank, misc room. I guess it's like a briefing room. It's called a briefing room. All the rooms are named by the lights. That's how I name them all. Because I, I name the lights so I know where the light is. But yeah, you can also command the ship from here, as you can see there's a little cockpit. So if we just sprint back really fast, and then I guess we'll go up to the, we can go up to the reactor through here. This is um, this door here takes us to all those bedrooms from before. This is the main reactor, we've got some nice glass so we can see in. Also, this side, this side of the reactor is actually really exposed. This is just glass, this is space. But the rest of it is fairly well armoured actually. There's just one weak spot. This is the armor part of the ship, as you, as you can see, here is the magazine. This is the most offended part of the ship, because there would be loads of missiles in here, and they'd explode big if you hit them. So we've got three heavy armor above here, the whole of the ship below there, and two or three on either side. So that's pretty good. Also we've got engineering here, this is much less armored. That's right at the front. So that's, uh, I think that's all the ship, basically. So um, I'll take you back to the cockpit, and I'll just fly around a bit. Right, around a bit, around a bit. I was about to cut the recording there, but I just have to put the stairwell. Or not stairwell, whatever. <laughs> so, here we go. This ship is actually really shit when it comes to like, agility and stuff. Um, acceleration, not too bad. What's that about? Two meters per second per second. It's okay. That's the main engine. Reverse is pretty slow, though. Because I, I wanted to get maximum rocket launches on the front. We got start. What we got? So we got a billion engines on the front, on the back. Uh, for you going, oh, I'm not going to count them. That's, that'll take forever. Rotation speed again, nothing to show for. I'm moving my mouse constantly across the desk. 
I didn't think about gyroscope so I was building this. There's always something I miss. <laughs> but I guess well technically it actually rotates really fast if you if you look from outside. If I go into spectator mode a sec and fly over here and go to this mode so I can look this actually rotates very quickly. It's just that for some reason everyone who plays Space Engineers expects things to rotate at like a million miles an hour. So <laughs> Yeah, this is actually quite fast, technically. That's my excuse. Uh, yeah, I've also tested the little fighters from the RSS Kepler carrier over there. They do actually fit in the hangar bay just about. You have to modify them slightly so they've got landing gear instead of a merge block thing, but they'll work as well. So, um, yeah, that's been uh, that's been this video. Uh, like if you liked the video, obviously. And subscribe for more building videos and possibly KSP coming up soon. Now we have 64 bits so I can make a series that doesn't crash 24-7. And uh, I'll see you next time. Goodbye. <laughs>